Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. We are here in the King's Coffin, where just recently some dude was gunned down and another dude ran right out the fucking front door. And also, we talked with Manea, who surprisingly didn't have any sort of like usual dialogue. She just had like, you know, the more random, not eh, not random, but uh, incidental. Yeah, that's the word. More incidental feeling dialogue, where you just click on them and no big dialogue box pops up. Very strange. Would have expected that not to happen. And in fact, it may happen yet. That makes it sound like I know something. I don't know something. I did not look anything up. I have no idea. I'm sorry, something may not happen. <laughs> also, look, our formation has messed up a little bit. Let's correct that. Yeah, look. Wow, that is the complete opposite of how it should be. Huh. Alright. There we go. That's a lot better. Good. Alright, if anything, even... Here, let's put a Shiza in the very back, right? Because we'll send a Shiza in uh, last, right? If we want to. Because otherwise, I'm more interested in keeping a Shiza alive more than anything else. That way, Maya does not get debuffed, right? Okay. So we spoke with Jacob Harker. Did we look at this thing yet? Though slightly frayed around the edges, the sailcloth has been carefully cleaned and maintained. I think we may have read that. Eh, good to be thorough. All right. Terna, Elias, Zelen. Maybe some of these people are going to give us skill ups, right? All right. What's up, Terna? You're just kind of dancing here in the middle. Oh, I guess, yeah, this is supposed to be sort of like a stage. All right. Man, if this really is a ship, right? The King's Coffin? Dude, this place is huge. Look at the size of this. It can't be, can it? I don't know. I guess it could be like a... Do galleons even get this big? I don't know. Maybe this is like a... What's it called? A man of war. Something like that. I'm trying to think back to my time playing <laughs> uh, Black Flag. All right. Terna. Gosh, when are they coming out with that pirate game? Fuck, I'm such a sucker for pirate games. Pirate games, really superhero games. God, I'm such a sucker for that shit. God, I, I love that shit. I eat that shit up. Oh my God, I played Marvel Heroes. Do you remember that? You may not. <laughs> Not many people knew about, but I played it a lot, and now it's gone forever. No regrets. <laughs> Tear enough. If you're enjoying my performance, tips are welcome, but not required. Thank you, loyal patron. <laughs> All right, sure, great. Of course, yeah, this is good. Voice monotone, the wizard examines her nails as she speaks. Wait, is she not supposed to be dancing? Huh, I thought that was the whole gag, is that... She was very half-heartedly doing this dance, but as it turns out, she may... I don't know. <laughs> a hand on her hip, she cocks her head as she waits for you to speak. Maybe we're supposed to imagine that we've talk it, started talking to her after she finished her performance. All right, let's see. Calandra needs you for her play. Oh, is she? Oh, that's not her, is it? Eh, I mean, maybe we need her anyway. Oh, it was... She, did she give us a name? I can't remember. I don't know. It must be her then, right? It doesn't look like you're enjoying yourself. How did you end up among these pirates? Give one copper. Here's a tip. Farewell. All right. Well, here. Here's a tip. Oh, thank you, patron. I'll be debt-free in no time. <laughs> Despite her words, she doesn't actually sound appreciative. In fact, she rolls her eyes as she tucks the coin into her pocket. <laughs> All right. It doesn't look like you're enjoying yourself. I work for a handful of pyres per day. How could I find enjoyment in that? How did you end up among these pirates? I was playing dice and gambled on a sure thing. It turned out not to be such a sure thing, and now Harker owns my arse until I can pay off the debt. Funny how gambling works, huh? She grunts. Of course, I started I'm off sorry. owing him 250, and even though I've paid that twice, now I'm in the hole for 700. The interest rate, this uniform, my food and drinks, they all got added onto my tab at the end of the day. Huh. Fucking Harker, right? Yeah, dude who runs the bar. Wow, what a jackass. All right. Calandra needs you for her play. I'd be happy to go back working for her, except I owe Harker over there a good deal of money. All right. I wonder if we could have tipped her 700 times and it worked. Could you imagine if they accounted for something like that? Oh, my God. All right. She jerks her head toward the 
far end of the bar. If I weren't recording this, I would... Honestly, I would attempt it. <laughs> but 700 times... Oh my god, y'all would hate me. <laughs> she jerks her head toward the far end of the bar. Stupid dice went cold at the wrong time. Mm. Until I pay him what I owe, 700 pyres, I'm not going anywhere. I'll see what I can do. Give 700 copper. Here, pay off your debt. Is there anything else I can do to get you out? Huh, well, good luck with that. Is there anything else I can do to get you out? Talk it over with Harker. Maybe you'll be feeling generous. She snorts as if she's made a joke. A more likely possibility is he'll try and put a knife between your ribs. Assuming he doesn't, or you survive it, you ought to know he hides his money in his private quarters. Oh. Would be a shame if someone stole it. Oh, that would be a shame. Oh my gosh, Terna, I like the way you think. All right. Oh, that's what we should do. Can we, can we pay off her debt first? And then steal back our money, plus a little extra for our trouble. All right, what can you tell me about Harker? You haven't heard the rumors, I take it. Her voice drops to a raspy whisper. Some people say he's the Red King. The who now? History check. Aristocrat check. Huh. The who now? Come on now. You're pulling my leg. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really stupid. The Red King was a pirate with a grudge against the Valian Republics. Supposed to have died years ago. Her eyes gleam with excitement as she tells the tale. Oh shit! I just realized. The chandeliers in here! They're, um, they're wheels for ships! Look at that! Oh, I love that. Alright. But some folks Sorry. say he faked his death to escape the wrath of the Valian Republics. The elf leans closer, conspiratorially. To murmur near your ear. <gasps> say it ain't so terrible. Those same folks say that Harker was the Red King. My god. Licking the corner of her mouth, she straightens. She smooths her hair with trembling fingers. I wouldn't go on asking him about it, if you know what I mean. Harker's got a nasty reputation. A real violent disposition. And besides, people in this port generally don't like others prying into their past. All right. Tell me again what's stopping you from leaving this place. I mean, I guess we may as well get extra dialogue. My never-ending debt to Harker. Every time I manage a payment, the interest has gone and doubled. Hmm. All right, farewell. Let's see. Let's see if we can't just go on up here and steal that shit, right? Or, is, yeah, in his quarters, right? So it'd be up here, right? Let's see. Oh, Captain, Cabin Boy, Captain Boy. It's Captain Boy. Irwena. Oh, God. These are like, uh... These are people to fuck, huh? Do we know Irwena? Why does that name sound so familiar? Irwena? My, my. Aren't you a handsome one? Oh, goodness. An older woman looks you up and down and smiles, revealing several gold teeth. Damn, she's rich, too? <laughs> Did you need help with something, my dear? What do you do here? Isn't it obvious? I entertain, of course. <laughs> it's indeed obvious. I fucked that man down there. <laughs> she does a little shimmy and breaks off with a laugh. It'll cost you 50 pies, naturally. And don't let the wrinkles fool you. I'm still young at heart. And I've got more experience than most. <laughs> she chuckles. Give 50 copper. Entertain me. <laughs> All right, we should definitely do this, but hang on. I'll be back. All right, let's see. Cabin boy. What do we have here? A young man dressed in skin-tight leathers gives you a quick once-over. He must like what he sees, because he smiles wide. His lips just parted. How can I ease your troubles, friend? What do you do here? I surprise and delight the clientele. His voice does not match his his very young face, right? He winks. My speciality is oils. Full body rubdowns, right? Fit to leave you limber, clear headed, and free of the stresses of hard living. Wait, so he doesn't fuck you? He's like a masseuse, masseur? I got other skills, of course. Should you be looking? And all for a measly 200 pyres. Wow, he's expensive. All right. Well, farewell for now. Okay, let's see. Can we get into this shit? We kind of can. All right, sure. what does this say right here? Oh shit, the demon. What? 
The blanket is stained with what you hope is dried ale. <laughs> All right, what's up, the demon? Andres crushing void. I'm starved. Oh, wow. Okay. Why are you the demon? Yeah. Got Let's it. see. Let's go out here, and you're ready to pick the demon's pock, right? Because she'll be running right out here, won't she? There we go. Then, as she passes right by, yoink! <laughs> Man, I love stealing from people. All right, cool. Great, now we've got a discount. Yeah. Look, we can even just sure. totally pay for a night with her, huh? Let's do a quick save, right? Gosh, this is just like our time at the Salty Mast. It's always things named after nautical shit, right? It's always got a nautical theme. All right. Or no, we, we also, uh, we bought the services of at least that lady, right? At, um... Port Maje, was it? I can't remember. Or maybe it was... No, it was Nekatok and Queen's Bareth, wasn't it? I can't remember. All right, Irwena? Did you need help with something, my dear? Oh, yes, I did. Entertain me. My pleasure. She grins, showing off her golden teeth, and leads you to a couch. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Let's see. What did we get? Did we get some kind of dope buff? Ooh. Irwena's mature experience, plus one all skills, cannot be engaged by lower level enemies. Huh. Alright. I mean, that's pretty good. Plus one all skills? Is that similar to... Oh, Private Dance seems way better, though. Or at least for casters, at least, right? Yeah. Huh. Let's quick save here. Let's see what he offers, right? Eh? No Let's problem. see. What's up, cabin boy? How can I ease your troubles, friend? Oh, yeah. Oil me down. I'd like to see your skills. Right this way. He takes you by the arm and leads you gently to a waiting table. All right. Let's see what we get this time. No stacking, right? Cabin boy's relaxation therapy. One dex, one perception. 20% less duration on hostile effect duration. Huh. I don't know. I think I prefer Irwena's, right? Plus one all skills is pretty useful at this point. I mean, dex and perception, that comes in handy. But, we'll, I don't know. I feel like we get a bigger effect from... We get a bigger effect from <laughs> from the plus one to all. All right. Sorry, Cabin Boy. I appreciate it, but I want Irwena's, and I'm going to save the two hundo. There we go. Let's do a quick load here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I forgot. Oh my god, what a grave error. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and we're back. Good. Erwin is mature experience. Good. Okay, let's see. How can we manage this? Let's see. First, let's have Seraphin pop Captain. this lock, right? If we do a quick save here again. My fingers be fat and furry. Easy breezy, wet and sleazy. That should just... Oh my god, 999 plus. Oh, hachi machi. Alright, what else is here? Scrolls. Well, certainly, we need some more of them, don't we? All right. Principy clothing. Good. Yeah. All right. Oh, shit. My spark crackers are all out. Oh, fuck me. Right, because, of course, resting with her wouldn't do anything, would it? Here, let's get a knight here at the inn. Right? Let's give everything, everyone something better than fire kelp, huh? Let's see. Jacob. Well, here, sure. we need everyone down there, don't we? There we go. What can Good. I do for you? Oh, look. Streetwise check. Oh. Huh. All right. Uh, your tavern looks... Uh, I wanted to buy something. What do something. you want? Let's see, I want to run a room. your coin purse? Fairly. All right. The bilge pump. Sailor's birth. 10% max health. One enemy engaged. Two might. Concentration. Oh, look. One max empower points. Wow, that's really good. Let's get it. We're getting, we're, we're getting crazy. Look, this is so far maybe the best bonus we've seen so far. One extra thing of empower? Jesus. All right, let's do it. There we go. Rest in Cap'n's Cabin for 720. Heck yeah. There we are. Good. Dope. Hmm? All right. Yeah, and then we have... Oh, no, we don't have... Wow, why do I have cowardice, no too? Problem. Oh, because I'm far away. Oh, man, look, we've done this in such a terrible order, because it's cleared away our food buff, hasn't it? All right, look, we're going to bang Irwena again. Always a pl- Did you need 
My p it's only 50 copper, so I don't mind it if it means we, do, we, have, we can skip a load screen. There we go. Great. Okay. Now, let's go up here, do a quick save, and slow down time. Let's toss some of this shit over here. Let's see. Right over there. Got it. Shit, it did not work for Erwena. Erwena, come on, I'm good for it. Don't worry about it, Erwena. There we go. Let's get all that shit. How much did we even get? I don't know. There we are. Yoink! Okay. If we just wait for this guy to get close, we can pick his pocket. There we go. <laughs> Look, he did actually have oils on him, huh? All right. Look, we can actually make our way over to Erwena and get, like, a money-back fucking guarantee. Dude, man, we're so good at stealing shit. All right. Sure. There we go. I'll take it. How much did we even get from that? I have no idea. It was a lot, though. Okay. Let's see. Jacob Harker. Oh, should we tell her that we stole his shit? Maybe she'll want it, though. Maybe we can do our streetwise check and get it... Get her out of here for free by, like, upsetting him and saying, I know who you are, and if... If you don't let this lady out of here wipe away the dead and shit, I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna tell Maneha. And I'll just wink at Maneha, and she'll be like, Oh my god, I know about... You're the fucking Red King, you asshole! <laughs> Alright, Terry. Welcome back, patron. I so hope you enjoy the performance. Face bland with a bored expression. The wizard sighs heavily after speaking. Alright. Ah, uh, okay. So we can't actually... Yeah, okay. There's no actual dialogue for having stolen it. Alright, it's just a way to get yeah. the money if you needed to. Fair enough. Alright. Jacob Harker, however. Let's see if we can't stir the pot a bit. Let's do a quick save here. Who is the demon? What can I do for you? I've heard rumors you're the Red King, the infamous pirate. Infamous to his enemies, famous to his friends. Ah, he narrows his eyes and sizes you up before saying more. Folks decided to call me the Red King, I had nothing to do with that. But I didn't tell him to stop, neither. Hmm. He grins. Man, I know who he looks like. He looks like a fucking podcaster I listen to. <laughs> he looks kind of like Brian Ibbett. <laughs> All right. See, the Valian Republics drove my dar out of business, and I repaid them in kind by taking their ships and their treasure. A whole lot of it. Hmm. Got right tired of ship hunters crawling up my ass every time I went out to sea, though. So I paid off my crew, scuttled this ship here, and went my merry way. How'd you get it here, like stuck on the ground or whatever? In other words... The Red King is dead. And if you ask me any more about it, you will be too. Huh. Okay. Farewell. Let's see. Maybe we can talk to Maneha about this? Let's I'll see. I'll probably stay a little longer. There's plenty of work for a mercenary after all. Okay, okay. Let's see. If we have to, we'll pay off the debt, right? Let's see. Elias Zelen, What's up? You find a lanky blonde elf flipping through a book of Adirin poetry by the artist Silba. His armor is well-worn and well-kept, and bears on its breast the image of a double-headed eagle holding a sword and crown. Looking more closely, you notice that his free hand, that with his free hand, he's picking a padlock. Hello. May I help you? Oh, this guy's about to give me a skill up, isn't he? He catches you looking and gives you a shy smile. Need anything? Tell me about yourself. I'm not sure what there is to tell. I'm a man of adventure, mostly. Have you had any that would make a good story? A few. More than I could share in a night, to be sure. There is one that's close to my heart. It led me to my love. Go on. He nods, please. I was on an expedition into the backwoods of Red Seras when I came across an abandoned town. To my great surprise, I found a tremendous hoard of books in the town priest's cottage. What's surprising about that? The Red Serans are conservative folk, more so even than the Adirans. They don't have much use for reading that doesn't come from one of the holy texts of the Church of Aethus. Ah. And what a selection of books it was. Every subject represented, 
even some questionable ones. I couldn't help but help myself to them. I took as many as I could carry, and I can carry quite a bit. Read them all cover to cover and learned a lot too. Mm. I tired soon of wandering, so I settled in a small town in the Deerwood and became a tutor for a noble family. Fell in love with the governess, naturally, and I stayed for a while. God, you don't think it's the opening town, Gilded Vale, right? Huh. All right, then what? Well... He rubs at the back of his neck and looks away a moment. I felt a stirring in my bones one day. I can't explain it. I just woke up, caught sight of the horizon, and had to go. I left my lady wife right there in our marital bed. Wow, what a dick! He sighs deeply. A look of longing flits across his face, but he stifles it with a quick frown. I don't know what's waiting for me out here in the dead fire, but I have hope this will be my biggest adventure yet. Okay, well, can you teach me what you've learned in your travels? Well, you listen to my long tale. I suppose you are owed a trick or two. For the low price of 3,000 copper. Enhance explosives and mechanics. Huh, here you are. What was the explosives from? I'm not sure. I guess from the books? Maybe. Weird. All right. Explosives and mechanics. Much obliged. He digs through his pack and pulls out several locks he's found in his travels. He proceeds to put you through your paces, timing how quickly you complete each lock, then demanding that you do it again and faster still. Satisfied you've become a deft hand, he shows you how to build a small explosive with black powder, parchment, and twine. Once you've demonstrated you can create the explosive without getting yourself or anyone else blown up, he wishes you good luck and tells you to get going. Elias Zelen's Training, or Elias. All right, good. No problem. Let's check in here. Pirate, what's up? You must be the casita everyone speaks of. The wall is notched and scarred from countless knife throws that completely miss the target. <clears throat> I'm surprised we can't play with them, right? Wasn't there a mini game in Pillars 1 in the White March, I think it was? Yeah, where you could throw knives or something. And there was another one where you could do some gambling of dice or something, I think. Oh, Pietro. Let's do a quick save here. Let's see, what's this? The booth is cozy and quiet, perfect for discreet oh, dealings. God, have mercy on me. God, this guy's about to shit his pants. Oh man! And if we look back there, you may see the uh, the phantom thieves. <laughs> you like that? No? Okay. Pietro, hunched on his hands and knees, quivering and drenched in sweat, the pirate lets out a pain-filled groan. Dude, he's gonna have, like, the worst shit ever. Blast my god's damn soul in stupidity! Andre, save me now! What's wrong with you? My ship was attacked and boarded by pirate hunters. Oh. Didn't know if we'd be able to get away, so I swallowed oh, god. down my most valuable possession and got his black tear, a gemstone. About the size of my fist. <laughs> so, yeah, he is having a hell of a shit. <laughs> All right. Man, could you imagine shitting out a fist? I would probably die. If I would probably die from that, right? Like internal bleeding and everything? Yeah, my butt would explode and I would die. Of course, now it ain't coming out of either end been trying all manner of foul concoctions to no effect on account of my stomach being too strong. Years of sailing the storm-wrecked seas will do that to you. <laughs> His stomach is too strong. Yeah, that's a fair point. I guess he could have tried to vomit it out. Man, you would think he would, like, choke and die, though, if it went out that way. Good God. <laughs> Maybe I can do, like, the Heimlich on him or something. All right. Started feeling an intense pain two days ago. I think, I think I might be dying. <laughs> I can't even crawl no more. <laughs> All right. What can I do to help? If I help you get it out, I want the gem. What if I just punch you really hard in the stomach? 
I might get it out. Just keep yourself pointed away from me. You could explode at any moment. <laughs> if I help you get it out, I want the gem. You can take it. What I used to think was a blessed treasure has become my curse. <laughs> any price is worth getting it out of me. All right. Man, we need to, like, feed him some of the grossest shit ever and make him just either vomit or shit his pants. Rosanella's got a stand in a radiant cult. She's been supplying me with some, um, experimental concoctions. Tweaking them after. Tell her the last one actually came close to working. Wait, I want to try and punch him really hard. I've got high might. Hang on. Let's see. Damn, my God. Just kill me now. Skin pacey, upper lip beaded with sweat, the sailor sways and moans. Lost my gold star, soul and stupidity. <laughs> what do you do here? Oh, usually I'm a sailor, but lately I've been sick as a dog and no good to anyone. <laughs> Man, he's so full of poop, I bet. I bet the Andres, or what was it? Someone's tear is probably like clogging his butthole like a big plug. So as soon as we get it out, oh my god, it's gonna, like, come spewing out. So much poop. He's gonna, like, go flying into the wall. So much poop is gonna fly out. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, farewell. Let's see. Man, we have to come back and try and, I don't know, <laughs> fix his butt. All right. Oh, here. Let's see. Let's pay off the debt. Here, Jacob Harker. What can I do for you? Here's 700 copper. Got to you, did she? The woman can spot a soft-hearted mark from 50 paces. Like a sixth sense or something. Remarkable. He nods to you conspiratorially, as if he didn't just imply you were a sucker easily parted from your money. Huh, fair enough. All right, yeah, dutiful. I guess because he took the duty of telling me I was getting scammed? Here's the thing, though. It's more profitable for me to keep her under my thumb, so... Sweet as your offer is, you can keep your money. Huh. Unless there's something else you need, I think we're done here. Wait, so she didn't actually try to scam me? Huh. Let's see. What can I do for you? Yeah. Oh, okay, not that she scammed me, but that, um... Yeah, that I'm a sucker for... Willing to pay for her for no good reason. Okay. I gotcha. I'm willing to pay for a debt that that makes me a sucker. I see. Okay. He turns away and begins fiddling with something beneath the bar. As he does, you spy red-handled pistols stuffed into the band of his breeches. Oh, shit. Huh. Intimidate check, diplomacy check. Neither of which we pass. Alright. Let's see. I could give him money, but let's see. Will you take something else in exchange for her freedom? If I wanted something else, I'd have asked for it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. How close are we to passing these? Eh. We got six and we got seven. Not too terribly close. Let's discuss something else. What can I do for you? Hmm. Do I need to pickpocket him? Have I... No, I've already pickpocketed him, can haven't I? See I? And not be seen. Let's see. If I go over here... Nah, I can't pickpocket him from there. Let's see, maybe from down here? Let's see, didn't I already do it, though? Could have sworn I did. Let's see, the demon. No. Damn you, demon. Alright. Let's see, if we wait for him to come back here, we should be able to get it. Oh god, unless this asshole sees me. Alright. Oh, jeez. Jeez! Get out of here! All right, here we go. We're going for it. Ooh. Dunnage Tavern Owner Key. Fire Kelp Extract. What is this? A quest item. Dried and ground up Fire Kelp Extract. Just unstopping the bottle causes your eyes to water. Huh. And Dunnage Tavern Owner Key. Okay. Huh. Yoink. Mine now. All right. Let's see. Does he have anything new to say? What can I do for you? I Let's made see. my position on that clear. You think I've changed my mind? He gives you a cold stare. Okay, let's discuss something else. What can I do? Farewell. Let's see if we can... Here, maybe we can give the kelp extract to this dude. Like, you know, take it as a suppository and it'll make his butt blast. 
All right, here, Pietro. Damn, my God. Just kill me now. Lost my gold star. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see. Let's go over here to Terna. Check it out. I got the Welcome key. Welcome back. Let's see. Oh, shit. Huh. Tell me again. My never-ending debt to Harker. Every time I manage a payment, the interest has gone and doubled. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Maybe the key is for one of the things up here that we unlocked, right? Okay. Let's see. If we just give him this... What can I do for you? All right. I want to pay off the debt. I made my position here. on that clear. 1,400. You think I've changed my mind? What if I double the money? Look at you. Big spender. Word of caution now. You don't want to look too desperate around here. Pirates can sniff that out easy as stink on fish. He winks. Well, I can snuff out pirates pretty good, too. Tierna's free to go. All right. Return to peg to the peg leg toupee, troupee in the Radiant Court. All right, yeah, good. No problem. So next time we go there, we'll be able to get two birds with one stone, huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Ishiza. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Maybe we can steal it back from him, right? Our money. Take a look. Once he comes back. And if not, we can check his other stores upstairs, right? Let's see. As soon as he turns the other way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, stop coming over here. Why do you always do this to me? Oh, God. Everyone's coming here. Oh, jeez. All right. No good. We should have just gone up there when we had the chance. Let's see. We'll hang out right here. We'll wait for this asshole to leave. Well, we could kind of come over through this, right? No, because, yeah, we're still in detection radius of this dude's vision cone. Okay. Yeah, we'll just hang out here for a bit. Whoops. Okay. Cool. You know what? We can send Seraphin upstairs, can't we? Oh, hey, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, got it. Jeez, always someone going right there, huh? Huh. How do we manage it so well last time? Did we just get really lucky? I guess so. Captain. Alright, Seraphin, you go upstairs and take a look at whatever the fuck's in there. Right? See if this shit came back. If there's new money. No. Yeah. Okay. Come on back down, Seraphin. Let's see if we can't rob him still. It may say that we already picked his pock, right? Maybe, like, some sort of alert that we get. Let's see. We just have to wait for this person to leave and for another person to not come up. Okay. There we go. Great. Hmm? Okay. Oh, shit. Should we risk it? We should. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Look, we really have to go right on him for that. Okay. Here, if we stand over here... Yeah, we'll break... <laughs> we'll break a line of sight, but fuck. At what cost? Look how far we would have to travel. Okay. Let's see. Maybe this person doesn't hardly have much for detection. Oh, shit. Let's see. Let's stop actions. If we just hang out right here... Oh, no, because that person's coming downstairs. Fuck me, the demon. All right. Once more over here. Speed time up. I was about to try and pickpocket that person like, you know, hey, if they're coming over here. <laughs> oh, look. This is our opportunity, perhaps. Doink. Find stiletto. Thanks. All right. Good. Jesus Christ, the demon. What a butthole. Okay. Let's see. So we either need to wait for this person to move or Jacob to come over. Or both. All right. He'll probably come back over to this area before long, right? Because we can make it almost on top of him without being detected, can't we? All right. Here we are. There we are. Good. Shit. Fuck you, the demon. Fuck you. The oh, he doesn't have it on him. All right. Fair enough. Eh? I'll take it. There we go. Yeah. Go pester someone who cares. What is up with you, the demon? All right. Terna. Endless thanks for taking care of my debt. See you at the play. Great. Okay. Let's head on over there. Maybe we'll get some money and make it back, right? There we go. Radiant Court. 
Good. Hopefully we don't get interrupted by... Oh! Several brutish-looking thugs emerge from the nearby alleys. All right. Let's do it. But yeah, it's... Like we said before, I'm, I'm willing to pay off stuff for money, even if it kind of bites us in the butt, especially early on. Because it, it's just very much in character with our character, right? Stealing from random people, and then for folks who are really in need, I'll just pass it out scot-free or willy-nilly even. Oh, look. Oh, are we actually going to have a talk? Or is this straight-up fighting? Feels like straight-up well, fighting. Well. Oh. If it isn't Arca's new business partner, that's quite a lot of coin you two exchanged. Oh. Oh, I love that. We are not business partners. It was a one-time deal. Harker's dead. Who? Ever heard of this Harker you're talking about? What's it to you? You're in my way. <laughs> this lie will probably fail, but we need to do it, don't we? Who? Never heard of this Harker you're talking about. Don't bother lying. Several of my men saw you at the King's Coffin. Looks like Arca's are in new muscle and coming out of retirement. And I can't be having that now, can I? Oh, but you know what? I think they were pirates and you know the eye patch thing? Oh, you can't see, you can't trust what they've seen if they've only got one working eye. I think I'll send him your head. As a reminder to stick to selling grog and flea infested beds. Alright, let's fucking go. There we go. Let's see. Can I enter stealth? No, I can't. We're just out here doing it. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Adair, I want you to... Hmm. Yeah, let's go after this mind bender, right? This seems like an important target. There we are. Good. Let's send Ashiza over here after the mind bender as well. Good. Pelagina, you get out your little dudes here. Put them on... The... Put them just right here, in fact. Yeah. All right. Seraphin, how are you doing? You're doing good. About to cast. Excellent. I'm firing away at this dude here. I need to actually fire away at the Mindbender. There we go. Good. Dope. Got him. Okay. Oh, there we are. And then let us fire away at this thug, right? There we go. Good. Palagina has her debuff active, right? Yeah. Okay. Half sword. What does this do again? Two penetration. You know what? We should do that. There. Let's activate both of her shit. Right? Okay. Good. Is this guy actually engaging her? I don't see an engagement symbol, right? So probably like not. That? Yeah, look. He can't engage her for some reason. What a dingus. Alright. Go on over there. Oh my god. He got blown the fuck up. Okay, here we are. Good. Now, Adair, whip around and fuck this dude up. Go. Excellent. Look, we're doing excellent. We're doing so good. Okay. Adair, go over and get Amond. There we go. See if he can't knock him flat. All right. And then, what am I doing? I'm reloading right now. Okay. Let's get this pistol here in the back. Let's do this. There we go. Good. Swap weapons. Fire away. Alright. Maya's having some trouble. Here, Pelagina toss a heal. Did she actually get off her little dudes? I don't think so. Hmm. Alright, let's give her the powerful lay on hands. Why not? We've got the resources to spare, don't we? Let's go. There we go. Dope. Okay. And I'm going to swap to my fourth set. And let's go after this Pistolier or this Thug. Who should we get? Serpent's probably about to wipe out this Thug, so let's get this Pistolier. Take this. Right go. between the eyes. Good. And the effects are a little low, aren't they? Let's turn them up a bit. Well, no, they're... Yeah, they're at 45. Yeah, weird. Maybe just a little bugged out or something because there's too much going on. That's me too. All right. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's have Pelagina get out your little dudes. This time for real. Maybe she got interrupted. There we are. Good. Wow, he cast something on us. All right. Let's have everyone except Adair get on this last thug. 
<laughs> Look, Palagina should just be able to heal through this AoE, right? Yeah. Dope. Look at that. Eat a butt, dude. There we are. <laughs> what an asshole. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. What have you got? Ooh. Look at that. A little bit of money. Okay. Oh, look. Minor ring of protection. Boots of the stone. Sea weathered grimoire. Oh. Man, some decent stuff. Okay. What are boots of the stone? Oh, look. This is actually a unique text here. These heavy plate boots are noticeably unpolished, resembling rock more than steel. The joints are well oiled, however, and they do not inhibit movement. They are designed for use by heavy infantry, as they provide solid footing amidst mud and fallen corpses. Resistance to mite afflictions. So you'll no longer be able to get staggered. Huh. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Or you will get... You'll, yeah, you'll no longer be able to... <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Downgrade any... Okay, yeah. So you would no longer be able to get stunned. Okay, I got mixed up. Okay. But also gives you one resolve. Man. That ain't half bad. Jeez, who needs boots right now? Hmm. I'll hold on to them for the time being. Who needs rings? I think everyone has a decent enough ring. Hmm. We could give it to Maya. Let's see. Deflection. Hmm. What does it dare use? Lone Wolf. Two defenses when engaged. Yeah, that's too nice. At least for him. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll give this minor protection to Palagina. That seems more useful than to two deflection, right? Unless she's tanking. Well, isn't someone else using... Yeah, let's give it to Seraphim. It's probably more useful on him. Okay, good. What's in this grimoire? Okay, yeah, just like speed and lightning or like, yeah, weather-based. Sea weather-based based, uh, magic. Okay, cool. We'll stash that. And let's say acorn helms. Do we want... I mean, yeah, let's just take the rest. There we are. Dope. Oh, look at this shit on our head. What is that? Uh, we're blinded from the chill fog. Okay. Let's see here now. Who needs shoes on? Maya? Adair, maybe? Yeah, he might be able to use that. Let's see. Deflection against engagement. Hmm. We could just give these to Maya. Let's see. What's the other effect? Resistance to mite afflictions. Right. Which are, yeah, stunned, dazed, and staggered. Yeah, maybe we'll give these to Adair and give her the Shorewalker sandals. I think that's a great idea. There we go. Good. And then Adair, you take that. Oh, look, I totally forgot to equip this new pistol arrow we got, too. Alright, it's an exceptional one as well. There we go. Good, throw that back there and put that right there. Excellent. We don't have any other pistols, do we? Hmm. No. Alright. Sure. Great. Good stuff. Eh? Got it. Alright, well, that went pretty fucking well, didn't it? <laughs> Easy. There we go. Let's get on out of here. Head on up this way. Yeah, there's no one else, no other woot loot. Yeah. Just a bunch of naked people laying dead in the street now. Okay, Radiant Court. Here we come. Let's see. Now, who did we need to check in with? Yeah, we need to check in with that little shopkeeper near the opening area, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll turn in the play quest next time, because doing that may trigger like a, ac us actually watching through a long play, right? May not have time for that. Yeah, I think that's a great plan. Okay, excellent. Birna. Let's see here. Sure. I still don't know what that fire kelp shit is for, though. Huh. Fair a repeat enough. customer. I like your type. What can I stock you up with today? Show me what you got. What do you have? Is this it? The meat? Ro? Huh. Is it her? Who did that dude want me to talk to? It was called Iron Gut, wasn't it? Well, here, we don't even need to 
search, do we? Quests, Iron Gut. There it is. Talk to Rosanella. Oh, the barkeep. Hmm? Okay. Got it. Gotcha. Let's do a quick save just in case. What's up, Rosanella? If it's a drink you're wanting, I got enough grog stock to drown a shark. Food's another story. She doesn't look up from spit shining the tankard in her hands. What are you having? I'll pour you a double. Pietro sent me to you. Ah, I guess the last concoction I made for him didn't do the trick then. Poor bastard. <laughs> There's one last tincture recipe I know that won't kill him. Probably. It's called Andra's Bile, but I don't have all the ingredients in stock. Okay, what do you need? Maybe some fire kelp shit? You'll need a rotten agfish, an unripened palm stone, and a vial of fire kelp extract. As oh, a shit, yeah, all the other... half tank of grog, and well... Hope for the best. Oh, fuck yeah, I have all of it. All right. Dope. Yeah, that's totally what this is for. Man, that's disgusting. The rotten hagfish? Oh my god, he will never stop shitting after this. All right. Let's see. We'll ask this last. Where can I find the ingredients? Because that might give us the opportunity to turn him in. Why didn't you try Andra's bile earlier? I did tell you the list of ingredients, eh? He'll have stuff dribbling out of both ends for a week. Maybe two, if he's really unlucky. <laughs> Why do I need to get a rotten hagfish and not regular hagfish? Man, he might just die of dehydration, you know? He'll, ta he'll take this. Because, I don't know, how does the water purification in Pillars of Eternity work? <laughs> Especially here in Dunwich. All right, why do I need to get a rotten hagfish and not a regular hagfish? The goal is to make him vomit, remember? A rotting hagfish produces a special oil once it reaches a certain level of decay. Mmm. But also I want him to poop a lot as well. I really want him to poop it out. All right, where can I find the ingredients? Check the barrels around Lifter's Refuse for the rotten hagfish. You might be able to find unripened palm stone for sale somewhere in Radiant Court. She pours a drink, but rather than passing it to a patron, she downs it herself. Parker in the King's Coffin usually keeps some fire kelp extract on hand for special purposes. Be careful when dealing with that one. Was he like put on his wiener? All right, farewell. There we go. And let's see. Let's no return problem. to her again. There we are. If it's a drink you're wanting, what are you having? Oh, I'll did she already give it to me? Did she already, like, mix it because I just so happen to have every single ingredient? All right. Man, did we miss out on, like, some dialogue or something because of that? Oh, no. Okay, we make it there on the spot. I think. Bring the ingredients to Andres Bile to, uh, for Andres Bile to Pietro at the King's Coffin in Dunwich. And then stand way, way back. <laughs> what a fun little quest! Yeah. All right, or a task even. Yeah. All right, well, like I said, when next we come back, we will check in with Calandra and the play, right? And hopefully when next we go back to Pietro, he has not exploded into poop, vomit, and guts, right? And also in between videos, we'll level up Palagina. But for now, if you would like to stick around, we do have a few things left to read, don't we? We've kind of worked through most of them. Ship's Log of the Tempest Turn. Is that really something that we still need to read? Tempest. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Alright, I guess this... Yeah, we didn't read this, did we? This almost seems like a quest thing. But I guess not. Okay. Ship's Log of the Tempest Turn. An excerpt from the Journal of Norin, former first mate of the Tempest Turn. It reeks of stale liquor and white leaf smoke. Day 286. Man, this must be a thick book. Suppose this is more of a diary now, though, let's be honest, it was heading that course heading that course for some time now, on account of Captain De Luna kicking me from the ship, and all because I kept reminding her how she said one night over dinner she'd finally listen to my theories on that crew who went missing near some island. What was it called? Blood Lung Island, or Kuzawari, or something such? To the north of Fort Deadlight. I don't remember. Point is... I know it wasn't the floating hangman what got them the, what got them because the Dow was recovered and it didn't have no blood on the deck nor even any torn sails or pockmarked wood. For that matter, it couldn't have been one of those trading company bastards, ship hunters, slavers, Juana savages, or Almawa military. 
Slavers gives us a little... Okay, yeah, I think we've seen that before. The crew just up and disappeared. Every last one, no bodies, no blood, just clothes and food and grog left behind. God, they left the grog! Every last cask. So tell me, Captain De Luna, just what happened to him? What new threats out there? What we ought to be spending gold and rubies and blood and sweat to prepare for? Who took him? If it wasn't a flock of overly cunning imps with a taste for pirate flesh. Well, I'm going to find out. Just as soon as I charter a ship to that island. Huh. Man, that's very cool. We will likely run into that, won't we? But the aftermath of it, huh? Probably something horrific has gone down. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, like I said, when next we come back, leveled up Palagina, turn in this quest, probably watch a play... And then hopefully that guy hasn't shit himself to death. Or perhaps has shit himself, but close to death, not to death. Until next time, peace. Peace.